first few times um, it felt a little maybe um, uncomfortable in front to, to talk with the patient in the room but then once you think of it that it really is uh, an, a partnership with the patient uh, the care it became a very natural uh, environment what are they saying at the by the door why aren't they over here by the bed so what's the big secret and they're not having secrets they're exchanging information, which they're supposed to do. And the point is, you feel like you're left out, and you're wondering what you're not hearing. If the nurses stand there by the bed, you're included in it. And you want to be included. You want to know what's going on. You don't want to be, I wonder what they said. Also, when you think about the information belonging to the patient and not belonging to the nurses and the medical staff, that's a, that's a change in our way of thinking and having uh, the thought that it's the patient's right to hear whatever we're saying about them. It is their right, it is their information. The concept of bedside shift report allows for being taken from one set of arms to another. It's sort of, I did feel like it opened a door and made me feel like it was easier for me to go ask questions. And I'll actually tell you, I find it interesting. I feel more comfortable with my doctors now too. I feel like I can ask better questions for them at regular appointments. So it's interesting that one little thing actually creates this cascade of events that makes you feel more comfortable in general asking questions about your health. We're the people who know the patient the best and therefore can share with the staff what is peculiar and what is not. I think sometimes that could be an issue for nurses is that we may sit there and not say anything, but I'll, I'll guarantee you we hear what you're saying and, and I would process it and I would end up having questions later either for them or the doctors. So I found that was one of the differences. It was just, I was I could tell, I was definitely getting more information. And what, But what happened was the nurses came in, they did their bedside shift report every 12 hours and each time they did the bedside shift report they talked about what had happened the time before and they would cover all these little things that were bothering me and I came to realize very quickly that they really were routine things. This is stuff they see all the time as a result of surgeries. So I was able to calm down and relax and I think I, you know you start healing better. You know, one of the key things here is I never told the nurses my concerns. I never asked questions about it and I don't I never did convey to them what had happened. It all was in my head. So this is this is part of um, that they don't know sometimes the the difference they're making but they are. But because it's in um a format um, and structured, I think you, you, I would process that information better than having the, when the nurse comes in and says, oh, I have a question, and then get an answer. But that can go, by the way, I think structure, and that's why I would like information from bedside shift reports. Yeah, you know, the first time I was in the hospital, um, I know some of my friends were like, man, you were out really fast. I mean, the first time I was in for surgery, but actually because of the bedside reports, I understood the criteria they were looking at. It says, hey, I met all the milestones. I knew, I knew why. So, so I was very comfort. I, I felt very comfortable that I wasn't kicked out too soon. I knew that I actually, <laughs> I knew that I was actually ready to leave. I mean, besides the fact that I was ready to leave, <laughs> mistakes get made. What made me feel good is that the process enabled the mistake to be found and that they were listening to they listened to me and I was able to have input even though I'm not a medical person. So I walked away feeling as though um, I, I felt like I, tr I think you mentioned this earlier, I, I felt like I trusted them more and I felt safer because of this. Oh, that, that's immense because as I said when I first started nursing you weren't allowed to share information with families and patients and now being able to share that information and discuss it with them has just makes your relationship so much stronger with your patients and their families. As an important part of bedside shift report mm -hmm. is you're showing me you, what you what you say is part mm -hmm. of it, but you're showing me um, that I'm a part of what's happening just by even asking, is there anything that I want to add? And, yeah. But I think the very idea of being asked, is there anything that we've left out? Is there anything you want to add? By its very nature models uh, behavior that you care about me. You know, I think as nurses we intellectually know and we have the evidence to support the importance of bedside shift report. 
Um, but sometimes for us, having the intellectual knowledge and having is not enough for us to change our practice. So connecting the head and the heart is what creates the magic. And how that happens is having our patients and families talk to us and tell us the importance of Bedside Shift Report.